another important thing, again, because we are working with chocolate. Again and again and again, I repeat this like forever. Inside our chocolate, we have cocoa butter. Our cocoa butter will melt at 35 degrees. This is why now it's melted. But our cocoa butter, when the temperature decreases, and when the temperature decreases around 27 degrees, 26 degrees, start to crystallize, start to solidify. This is why when we make a chocolate mousse, and we combine this, which is melted, together with something which is cold at 5, 6, 7 degrees centigrade, and we mix together, will be a moment when we finish our mousse that the right temperature of the final mousse should be around 24, 25, between 20 to 26 degrees. Why? Because if the temperature of the mousse is more than 26 degrees, we will start melting in one side the butter that we have in our cream, and we will lose the structure of the mousse. If the temperature of our mousse, the final temperature, is less than 20 degrees, imagine thinking that at around 27 the cocoa butter starts to crystallize. Imagine if the temperature of the mousse is less than 20, our mousse can, we can take the, the risk to solidify our mousse before assembly all the cake. So at the end, I always mention that a chocolate mousse is like a, an equilibrist in a circus, you know, the typical guy with a, so the final temperature is always in between these two things. So if you reheat the temperature more than 26, you will lose your air, you will lose your beautiful texture. If the temperature is less than 20, you will block your mousse and you will have a big, big, big problem when you assemble your cakes. This is why in all our recipes, we always recommend a final temperature to be checked before mixing the cream and then follow the steps and so on. But you will have a beautiful explanation on the, on the class about chocolate mousse behind the class. So don't worry about this, okay? Mm -hmm.